All right, what up, what up, what up, people? What's popping? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So before we get into everything else, you know you got to get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. The ebook, hard copy, audio book. Make sure you guys go to mrlocario.com to get your copy of How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Click or just click the link below. You can get your copy when you click the link below. All right, and also make sure you guys get the 60 second game book. Make sure you guys check that out. <clears throat> what up? You got Chizzy City in the building, modern day mentor, DX Vasty something something. I can't pronounce your name, bro. <laughs> w Hawkins, Evicorator XXX. Okay, Hasano A, K Zagan in the building was popping. Trilla Tex was good. Daquan Jenkins was popping. Collins was good. Omar was popping, was good. <clears throat> pa Pablo was popping. Kenwood Drive was good. Man, Huffy Puffy, what's going on, bro? <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is so damn scratchy. Hold on. <clears throat> gotta clear my voice and shit. Because I, I gotta <clears throat> I gotta spit this game, man. This game is um it's gonna be heavy, okay? So we gotta we gotta we gotta make it happen. Eustinevo, what's going on? DJ, what's popping? Seven the Gentleman, what's good? We got a, we got a lot of people up in here. So, today I'm going to be talking about, real quick, five things you do that make women think you're weak. Okay? Five things you do that make women think you're weak. So, I'm going to talk about this real quick, and then I'm going to take some calls later. You feel what I'm saying? So... This is the thing you gotta, guys got to understand, because some of y'all are probably like, man, who gives a fuck, uh, you know, what these women are thinking? And, and I agree, who gives a fuck? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But the reason why <clears throat> I want you to understand, you know, certain behaviors that you're doing that may make a woman think that you're weak is because once a woman sees you as weak or she perceives you as weak, what happens is, is that she ends up disrespecting you because of that. You understand? She ends up losing respect for you because she thinks you're weak. And she thinks you're weak because you're displaying certain characteristics and behaviors. Right? <clears throat> now, when a, when a chick thinks you're strong, right, when she sees you as a strong masculine dude, that's when she respects you. You feel what I'm saying? That's when a chick starts acting right. That's when she starts cooperating all this other stuff, right? So I want to go through these things that are going to show you a woman thinking you're weak. You understand? So if you're doing any of these things, you should stop doing them. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So now this is in no order of importance. So this is not like, you know, this is like not a, you know, this is more important than the next. But I'm just going through one through five, right? So the first one is being extremely emotional, okay? So being extremely emotional. So if you're the type of dude who is always extremely emotional when it comes to you dealing with women, she's going to see you as weak. So for example, let's say if a chick... You try to holler at a girl or something, or you're trying to get with a girl, and she's not really trying to get with you, right? And you get upset, and you start cursing her out, and be like, well, fuck you, bitch, I ain't want you anyway. You understand? You're getting extremely emotional about the fact that this girl ain't want to fuck with you. You understand? So you being reactive like that and being extremely emotional makes women see you as weak. You see what I'm saying? So you, you got to make sure that you are not, you know, doing that type of shit. Hold on, let me make sure everything is cool in the, make sure you guys can see me because the shit is acting weird on my end. Can you guys see me? Okay. And hear me good. Hold on. All right. So you guys can see me and hear me good. Everything good, right? All right. Cool. <clears throat> now, so... That's number one, when it, when you're being extremely emotional. 
So even like, let's say, for example, you may be arguing with a girl and, and which is something you shouldn't even really be doing, but you end up arguing with a girl and getting extremely emotional in the argument, right? Now she's seeing you as weak. So you got to be cool, calm and collective when you're dealing with chicks, right? Now, this isn't to say that you, 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 you shouldn't, uh, I'm not saying ignore your emotions and I'm not saying be, you know, try to act like you don't have emotions or whatever. What I'm saying is you have emotions, but you need to be able to master your emotions so that when you, when you're in situations, um, you don't go crazy. You don't be all over the place because the thing is when you're dealing with women, women are going to do things and say things that might trigger you, that might get you feeling a certain type of way. But if you're being extremely emotional, you understand? It's going to be hard for you to um, interact with women just in general. You understand? And then the thing is, those women are going to see you as weak when, right, you are dealing with them. So you have to make sure that you are keeping your emotions in check. You should be Cool, calm, and collected when you're dealing with these women. You understand? Exactly, Jay Reese. You say your emotions don't have to consume you. Real talk. Real talk. All right? Now. Hold on. I'm going I'm to I'm take calls in a second. I'm going to get through all of these real quick. I'm going to take calls in a second. So number one is being extremely emotional. Now, number two is when a woman, you know, sees you as weak is when you follow her lead. Okay, when you follow a woman's lead, she's going to see you as weak. Now, I put out a video the other day um, where I was talking about how when you before you go on a first date, you have to sort of vet the chick and see if she's going to follow your lead. So let's say if you're on an online dating site and you're trying to get at the girl and trying to make some happen. Um, you know, I have, my, I have my camera lady on the on the on the um, on the video and we were talking and she was saying that when she goes on dates, sometimes she'll tell the guy, hey, you know, meet me here or meet me here, right? And I was saying that the guys who go for that, they're following her lead, right? And I'm telling you guys, don't ever follow a woman's lead because just based off the fact that she is um, leading you, right? Just based off the fact she's leading you and you're following she already thinks you're weak because you're following her. Now, a lot, and, and sometimes this is subconscious because I, I'll say it like this. Let me let me give you guys an example, or let me say this before I or before I say the example. The reason why a woman would lead you or will lead you or lead the interaction or lead the relationship is because she doesn't think you are strong enough to do it. Exactly, Kay Zaggins, when you said the absence of leadership forces the woman to step into your role. Exactly. So what happens is, is that because you're not leading, she ends up leading. But she's leading because she doesn't see you as the leader. She doesn't see you as the leader because she sees you as weak. So even when you're setting up a date, you're telling her what you're going to do. You're telling her where you're going to go because you want to see if she's going to follow what you're saying. You understand? And so the only reason she's doing it, the only reason she's leading is because you're not doing it. It's like this. Look, like when you go to a, a hotel, right? When you go to a hotel, you don't need to make your bed. Why? Because somebody else is going to make your bed. The maids or whatever, the housekeeping is going to make your bed and clean your room. When you're at home, though, right, when you're at home, you got to make your bed. Why? Because nobody else is going to do it. You understand? So, and what, and what I'm saying is, is that the reason why you have to make your bed is because you don't have anyone else there to do it for you like you have in a hotel. So the reason why women are taking that lead is because they don't have anyone taking the lead. So they have to do it because there's no one else to do it for them. Just the same way you have to make your bed because there's no one else to do it for you. So what happens is she's taking that lead 
because you're not doing it. And when she sees that you're not doing it, she sees you as weak. You understand? So, you know, you, you got you to gotta understand that aspect of the game. Now, so that's number two. Number three is a woman will see you as weak when you don't check her. Okay? So if a chick does some bullshit and you just let it slide or you're like okay with her like, you know, doing the bullshit, right? She's going to see you as weak because a lot of times chicks will do shit on purpose just to see, you know, what you're going to do. You understand what I'm saying? They'll do this shit. This is like sometimes chicks will be on some bullshit like that uh, because they want to see what you're going to do, right? And I even talked about this before where a lot of times women will give you shit tests because they perceive you as weak, right? And they're actually testing to see if you are actually weak or not. You see what I'm saying? So you have to check the chick, if she does something that she shouldn't be doing. And again, you don't got to be, you know, mean about it. You don't got to be on some, you know, like uh, uh, crazy shit, right? But you have to make sure that you check her. She needs to know that the stupid shit she's doing or the shit she shouldn't be doing isn't okay. Because if she does it and you let her get away with it, then she's going to be like, this dude, I can do whatever the fuck I want with him. I can, I can act any way I want to act. I can do anything I want to do. You understand? So now, you got to make sure that you're always checking the chick if she's on some, some BS. What up, Albert? What's popping with you, bro? Now, number four. Now, this is important. This is very important. The fourth thing that you do that'll make a chick think you're weak is going back on your word, okay? Is going back on your word. Oh, let me let me uh, let me turn off the Skype for a second because dudes just keep calling in. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna turn off the Skype for a second. I'm gonna turn the Skype back on. We ready to take the calls? But now, <clears throat> the fourth thing that that makes you you know look weak is when you go back on your word. So what does that mean? That means that when you say something, okay, when you say something, you have to do what you say. You have to be what you say you're about. You understand? So I remember, I think it was my dude that he fused was talking about this one time where he said, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he said that he was on a date with a chick and he was trying to take her back to her crib or get back to the house or something like that. And the chick was sort of like, you know, he was trying to smash and the chick was sort of, I guess, hesitant or like kind of iffy about it, but wanted to do it sort of. And so when they was going back to the crib, right, he told her, he said, look, we ain't going to do anything you don't want to do. Now, you know, Eddie, you can correct me if I'm wrong if I'm saying the story wrong, but I remember you, you said something about this where you told her, listen, we're not going to do anything you don't want to do. That's what he told her. But what he didn't say to her, which most guys would say, is, yo, it's okay. Let's go to your house. I'm not, we're not going to have sex. Don't worry. We're, we're just going to chill. We're not going to have sex. Right? Now, see, the reason why you don't say in this situation, we're not going to have sex is because if you do go to her house, you can't have sex. Now you could, but if you do have sex, you're going back on your word and she looks at you as weak. You understand? And if she looks at you as weak, that's when the disrespect comes in. So you have to be about what you say. You understand? This is why he told her, hey, we're not going to do anything you don't want to do. But he didn't say, hey, we're not going to have sex. He just said, we're not going to do anything you don't want to do. Because... There could be the possibility that you do have sex and get a popping, but you don't want to say we're not going to have sex because if you say we're not going to have sex and you go back on your word, that makes you look weak. You understand? Because when you're dealing with women, women have to interact with you and know that what you say is what you say is what it's going to be. And if you say something and it's not going to be what it's going to be, 
She has no reason to respect you because she can't take you on your word. You understand? So let's say, for example, you chilling with a girl or a girl you messing with and you, you got to check her. You understand? You're supposed to check this chick because she did some, some crazy shit. Or you say to her, listen, the next time you do this thing, right? The next time you do this thing, I'm going to stop calling you. I'm going to stop fucking with you. Like, I'm, I'm just going to charge you to the game. Right? So, the thing is, is that, let's say a girl, let's say, for example, you said to the girl, if you if you curse at me one more time, because let's say she's cursing you out or whatever, you say, if I hear you curse at me or raise your voice at me one more time, I'm out. Right? Now, if she curse at you and you stay, she sees you as weak. You understand? Because you told her, if you curse me out one more time, I'm bouncing. So now that you she cursed you out and you didn't bounce, she sees you as weak. Why? Because you didn't stick to your word. So now she has no reason to respect you. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be careful about what you say that you're going to do when you're dealing with these women. Because you can't say one thing and then do the next. <clears throat> that's that's not masculine. You understand? That's not no, you know, manly shit. <clears throat> you understand what I'm saying? So that's what that's what it is. You got to make sure that you are about what you say you're about. You feel what I'm saying? So that's number four. Now, number five, the last thing we got on here, where a woman will see you as weak is when you're afraid to approach her, okay? When you don't approach the girl. When you're afraid to approach the girl, she's going to see you as weak. Now, what happens is, and, it, and this depends, because let's say you see a girl and you catch her eye for a second, but you don't approach because you're like, whatever, right? She'll most likely take that as a rejection, meaning she's thinking, well, I guess he didn't like me. You understand? He's, he's going to be like, yo. She's going to be like, I guess he didn't like me, whatever. But when a woman, right, sees that you are blatantly staring her down, it's obvious that you want her. It's obvious that you're 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 attracted to her. She sees you see looking at her. She's looking back at you. And you don't approach. She sees you as weak. You understand? So whatever type of, you know, feeling or attraction she had for you is going down the longer it takes for you to go and approach her. You understand? So you got to understand that aspect of the game. So again, I'm going to go through one through five real quick. So number one was being extremely emotional. Number two was when you follow her lead. Number three was when you don't check her. Number four was when you don't stick to your word. And number five was when you are afraid to approach. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Let me, let me try to t turn back on this Skype real quick. Let me turn back on this Skype real quick. Let me see if we can get this back on. So I get you guys to call in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me get the Skype up. All right, so the Skype is back on. Call number 646-481-3901. Boom. Guys could call up and get it popping. All right. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hello, Mr. Lothario. What's popping? Who's this? This is Hassan. Who? Hassan. Hassan, what's going on, bro? Yeah, man. Um, so... Um, I'm kind of young. I'm, I'm like a teenager, you know? Wait, how old are you? How old are you? you? How old are you? I've been following you for like three, four years. Hold on, how old are you? I'm, I'm about to be 18. You're about to be 18? What, what, what? When's your birthday? November 3rd. November 3rd. Okay, that's what I want you to do. I want you to call back <laughs> on November 3rd when you are 18, Okay. Come on, Mr. Lugar, I'm know. telling you, I'm <laughs> I need you to be, I need no, you to be, I need you to be 18 or over, bro. Instagram. Say that again. 
I was the one who texted you on Instagram. Oh, okay, okay, cool. I got you all. When you're 18 and over, what I, this is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going I'm to send you my book for free when you, on your yeah. birthday. And then the next live stream, I want you to call in, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about what's popping off with you. Because I, I I only like to give advice to people who's eighteen or over. You feel what I'm saying? Like personal advice. You feel what I'm saying? That's just that's yeah. just how I do it. You feel me? Yeah, but like I, I just it's just one question. No, it's bro. See, so you try to now you try to. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm gonna give you a free book on your 18th yeah. birthday. You feel me? All right. Okay. All right, bro. All right. I'm going to holler at you, man. Thank you. All right, bro. Peace out. Peace, peace, peace. Where is this button at? I'm not finding the button to press on this shit. What's up? Where is the button at? Why am I not? This, this Skype is acting funny style right now. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I think this, this Skype is acting weird as shit. Hold on. Let me try to log back out and log back in. I don't know why this shit is acting funny. Anyway, let me... Skype is acting crazy. All right. I'm going to turn back on the Skype. See what's going on with this. Hold on. All right. I turn back on the Skype. All right, so you guys can call in the call in number 646-481-3901. All right. You. Good morning, fathead. All right, anyway. Um, so, yeah, the call in number is 646-481-3901. Call in. Alright. Like, what is this thing? Why is this Skype back in super goofy? Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Ben. What's poppin'? Look, I'm an older cat. Is there right. any hope for, for me? You said say that again? I'm an older cat. Is there any hope for me out there? Well, how old are you? <laughs> 46. You said, is there any hope for you? What do you mean by hope? Well, I, I I think I need a younger woman in my life. Yeah, how young? How old? Uh, look, uh, ten years at least. So you want someone like in the mid thirties or something like that? Yeah, man, I, I want another child. You want another kid? Yeah. That you can make that happen, bro. There's a lot of women in their thirties trying to get knocked up. You feel what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Hell yeah. You just got it, yo. Top- you, you just got to go out there, start talking to these 30-year-olds and be like, listen, you know, I'm, I'm ready to, you know, get with some lady and, and start something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you trying to get, like, uh, in, a, in a relationship? What you trying to do? But Like, what's your what's your plans? What's your thoughts? Like, what are you, what are you trying to make happen? Yeah, I want a relationship with uh, family. I feel like, uh, well, I haven't, I haven't really gotten to that mm. point yet, strangely enough. Mm. You know? Right. I, uh, well, this is the thing. You don't you don't want to have a baby with just any chick. You feel what I'm saying? So, know. <laughs> you know, you gotta you gotta go out there, start start dating, start you know filling these women out, and then you know one of these women they'll be the right one you want to you know knock up and 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 make that your lady. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta get out there. Are you out here like going out on dates, meeting women? Like, how do you meet women? See, I, I've been uh, I've been kind of hard at work. You mm-hmm. know, I'm, I'm a uh, I'm a freelancer, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it kind of keeps me boxed into you know just sort of talking to people about money, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, okay. You know, so you know, anyone that's um, you know anyone that's along, that's along that trail could could kind of you know keep me from eating. You know? Right. And, where, uh, and where, you, where do you live? Where you where you from? Uh, Midlothian, uh, Virginia. Virginia. Okay. And um. Do you do like online dating or anything like that? No, I haven't done that. You know, I, you know. I guess I probably should. A, a lady friend was telling me I should do that. Mm-hmm. You know, especially if you don't have a lot of time. On exactly. That. That's that's yeah. You got to get on that online dating stuff. Um, also, figure out what's happening in your area, in your city. If there's any singles events, if there's any 
any type of events where you can meet women, you know, in that age range. You know what I'm saying? So you got to you got to really put yourself out there. That's the thing about this game is that you got to put in work. And unfortunately, you know, a lot of guys want um, things happening, but you can't let any nothing's going to happen unless you put in that work. You see what I'm saying? And so what I would say to you is, you know, try to get some online dating popping since you're real busy. And also look at what's happening or what's going on in your area and find out different events and things that you can meet women in person. So you want to do both things. You want to meet, you know, these ladies in person, but also, um, you know, do the online thing. You feel what I'm saying? Because you just got to put yourself yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear it. it's just It's just like, uh, you know, interviewing, I guess. You know, you got to. Cause you, yeah, cause you sounded like you sounded like you defeated already. Cause you like, is there any hope? Is this, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you feel know I me? Mean? So you can go out there and make it happen. You gotta have, you gotta have a better attitude than that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, I'm a little more hopeful than that. I, I right. just, uh, I, I'm a humble dude. Right, so, yeah. right. So I think for you, you just gotta put yourself out there and get out more. Get out more and and start, you know, uh, hitting up the online sites and start figuring out what is going on in your city and just put yourself out there. You'll, you'll find a lot of women. Cause trust me, if you trying to actually get like a, a woman that, you know what I'm saying? And you trying to get, uh, have a baby and, and be on some married type stuff. There's a lot of women out there that's looking for that. So you, you should be good. You feel what I'm saying? I hear you, brother. I hear you. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. All right, bro. All right. I'm going to holler at you, man. All right. All right. Appreciate peace. It. All right. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hello? What's poppin'? Who's this? Hey, let me call you right back. Let me call you right back. This dude, he fucking... <laughs> this motherfucker's like, yo, I'm gonna call you right back. Like, why? Y'all motherfuckers are hilarious. Shit. What up, Joe Blast? What's poppin'? Ellie Empire in the building. Man. Dudes are funny. Crazy. Right, let me see who this is. You, yeah, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? The call real. Uh, it's cheap wildfire in the chat. What up? Um, hey, hey. I just wanted to give like a, a damn confessional and uh, <laughs> something I realized if any other guys have, you know, felt like how I felt. But my my game confessional. Mm. Oh, and then real quick, I want to say also to call her like all the dudes who, when you start your show mm. and they keep calling you, obviously tell them, hey, wait till the show's over. I can only imagine <laughs> how they act when they're not getting a text back from a chick that they really like. Right, right. I don't, I, that's, <laughs> what <I'm> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Shit, but but my my confessional, you know, what I like is uh, I you know, I ended up knocking this chick, man. Um. Mm. And I did, I followed the full game. Like, mm. most of my game, like I've told you before, is, the, um, you know, I'm not, you know, I, I have a little look to me, so mm. I get them when they come, or they choose, or they come, but, you know, just going out and hunting it without a chick seeing me, no choosing signal. Mm. I've been doing that, and, you know, like, guys, you don't know, you're going to go through, it's a numbers game, you're going to go through a lot of chicks, mm. but I, the number worked Ooh. for me this time, seen it, you know, hot, white chick, bro, 19, not knowing at the time I go up, fat ass, I just, you know, hey, say what I say. Everybody has their own game. Mm. And, and I'm realizing, like you say, it's not so, when people think game, mm. they're thinking there's words you can say. What can I, what line can I use? No. Mm. Game is you being confident, mm. not being scared, being a man, and whatever you feel mm. flows out your mouth is right. That's what you're going to, you know what I mean? Right, and, right. Mm -hmm. and, so I spit my game, and I, it doesn't matter what I say. I got, got her number, and I'll, now I'll be honest with you. The chick was so fine that I um, was kind of having, like, kind of doubted myself a little bit, and that's mm. when I kind of, so I want to confess to you, like, man, you got to keep it firm. I, I was like, dude, it's getting to be too, like, my game really hit here right now. Like, mm. I'm, she, you know, I'm like, is it just going to be this easy for me on this? And long story short, Lucario, end up knocking her. You know, uh, got the room, mm -hmm. knocked her down. I'm talking thick, fine. I mean, I, 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 I'm finna go to tomorrow. She's finna buy me a hat right now. Like, just, <laughs> that's what I like on GP. <laughs> but, um, but I just realized how that little flakiness in me that I had, mm -hmm. that it was way worse back then, you guys gotta let go. When you don't overestimate and don't 
underestimate your game. If the chick is going, she's going. And don't be um, outcome dependent, as mm. Lucario said. Right. Because when I was uh, outcome dependent with a chick like this who I'm liking, like I'm liking, like I'm telling my boys, dude, I want to hit this chick. Mm. I'd be like, fuck, she hasn't touched me back yet. Right, Every right, time exactly. Back for four hours, bro. Mm. And I chill. Just do it to myself. And then when she hits me back, I get right with her, you mm. know what I mean, and um, that that's what I want to confess on that. And then, as far as with your topic, personal your topic, yeah, get their emotions in check. I feel you on that. Mm. I um, I, you know, I, I've had my moments where, you know, I let it go. And mm. like you said, you tell a chick, if you do this, I'm gonna leave. Now, right. here's, you know, I, I would think advanced level game. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. Um, where okay, you tell a chick, I say if you make a sandwich. With mustard again, mm. I'm leaving. This is right, right. Okay, she does it, I leave. Right? right. And then she's blowing me up, you know, like, hey, you know what? And I was like, I told you. And then she's like, look, what can I do to make it right? Mm. And I give her what to do to make And she does that to get back to my graces. Mm. You can go ahead and get it back from there. You gotta, mm. I feel like you gotta have that in your mind of they can come, but it comes with a price of. You get what I'm trying to say? Right. No, I feel uh -huh. you. And that's the, well, that's the thing. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where, as, and this is, the, this is like the whole thing about like you exuding that masculine essence or the masculine presence when you're dealing with women is that you have to be on point with how you're going to be and how you're going to conduct yourself around women so that they, in turn, will know, okay, well, because this is the thing. A woman, she's going to say... This guy I know I don't need to respect. You understand? This guy I know I, I, I need to respect. And that's based off your behavior. It's just like when you're in school. You understand? And then let's say you might have a teacher who you know is strict and you can't play around in his class. Then you got a teacher who you know you could go into class and say whatever and act a fool and it don't matter. So it's based off of how you're coming at them that's going to determine how they're going to come at you. You see what I'm saying? And so that's all. That's all it is, you know. <laughs> so you know. Yeah, on the road. And, and um, as far as I, now, I'm gonna give you a question. I'm gonna get out of here because, mm. you know, like I say, I've told you this before. Mm. Like I don't got all the answers, but mm. like I say, I got enough game to know where your game's at. Mm. And so now, let me um, if I can ask you this. Mm. Now you know. Let's say I'm dealing with, you know, three different chicks, mm. and I met them each without a relationship to the point of not having to tell them, oh, I'm dealing with this chick because it's nobody's business because I have no girlfriend. Right. And then they um, finally, you know, ask me and be like, hey, what's up with this chick? Or, you know, what, what, what do you, like, in your work, in your way, like, how do you kind of, like, let them know, you know, mm. like, chick, check this out. We never established anything. Mm. Like, you know, get on trust. Right. I, don't, I, don't, I know I'm what you're saying. To, so you're saying that if you... If you have a girl, or you mess with some girl, and and they want to know if you messing with other chicks, or if there's other chicks around, and all that shit, right? Yeah. So I, and I talk about this in my book, Sixty Second Game, which all of you guys should get. But basically, you know, is usually one of two things: either you let her know just off the bat, or you sort of switch the subject and sort of like you know bypass that, so you don't really need to even get into it because. Um, what it is, is that, you know, like, so for example, she'd be like, oh, are you messing with other girls? You understand? You could be like, you know, what do you think? Like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a really fly ass dude. What do you think? You understand? And then you just change the subject and you start talking about something else. Cause most of them already know they just want to talk or they just want to say it because they feel like they need to like talk about it, but they don't really want the answer a lot of times. That's the, that's the goofy part about the shit. So is either you bypass it or you just let them know straight up, like, yeah, I'm fucking with other chicks. And you understand what I'm saying? Right. And so, but the thing is, what you don't want to do is you don't want to lie and say you're not. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't do that shit. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So that's that's really all and, you got to do. And also, Carl, because uh, I, I asked you this, because right mm -hmm. now I'm up. I'm up. And, and I know there'll be a draw. And guys understand this. Like, mm -hmm. Carl says, you go through draws, you go through don't depress about it. But mm -hmm. right now I'm up. I got mm -hmm. about. I got about four chicks, mm -hmm. and I feel like, and you know, if you if you ever known this, um, you ever feel like there's girls who they know that, mm -hmm. and they know they don't want to know you have other chicks, but mm -hmm. they never even ask you if you have a girlfriend, you have another chick, mm -hmm. they just deal with you for a while. Mm -hmm. And um, and my thing is, um, you know, you know, I just, you know, I just want to come in, 
get my little confession on now. Basically, I just called the, you know, they are excited because the game works, man. The game fucking works. I, I try work, to guys. tell them, bro. I try to tell them. Yeah, and you see, and you, and you see, and you see, hold on, hold on. And this is the thing. You see how you, you see, you see the energy in your voice. You understand? And that's yeah. because you're actually out there putting in the work. And this is why I be trying to tell guys. It's a different energy you have when you're out there doing what you do because now you know, now you see. Now you actually are making shit pop off. So you see that as real when you're actually out here making it go down. And so that's what I'm saying. So, you know, but yeah, keep doing your, keep doing your thing, bro. I'm going to get a few more of these calls. All right, but keep doing your I'm thing, right, bro. I'm going to holler at you, man. I'm going to hop back in the chat call. Everybody in chat, I'll be in there to walk far down. All right, bro. Peace. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. You got to, you, you guys, you got to listen to how dudes sound when they're actually making shit pop. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo, Mr. Lucario, how you doing? This is Creed Noise from New Jersey. What up? What's going on with you, bro? Good, good. Uh, uh, well, I actually uh, have, a, have a question about, uh, I go out to New York sometimes, and I try to, you know, go out and talk, talk to chicks and all that stuff, and mm -hmm. your, your topic from today kind of like really kind of resonated with me a little bit, because mm -hmm. like, uh, especially the one about hesitating to approach chicks. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that kind of really, like, spoke out to me a little bit because New York City is really different from, like, mm. like area New Jersey where I, where I am. Mm. Like, New York City is, like, really, hot, like, fast-paced and mm. people are just, like, like, get to the point and cut the shit kind of attitude. Right, right. <laughs> That's true. So, and, yeah, so, and I think that affects women, too. Like, they're, I don't know, for lack of a better word, they're, like, maybe a little bit more ego or just less impatient for bullshit, I guess. Mm-hmm, right. So... Yeah, so, so like, how, how do you, how, like, I don't know, do you have any tips for, like, when a guy kind of, like, um, like, it's kind of trying to branch out of, like, when nothing's going on, he's trying to get pushed into it, but it's just, like, a little, like, it's a little bit of a, like, an uphill mm -hmm. type of, like, push. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 um, I don't know if you know, know what I'm trying to get at, like, 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 what, like, what are just some overall, like, basic, like, things, like, like, for me, I, I'm trying to go out to New York, trying to, like, mm -hmm. just to, like, throw myself in cold water. Right, you saying like what can he, what what can a guy do to really get himself in these situations and make it like beneficial for him? Like, how is he gonna get the shit going and all that other stuff? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, as far as like approaching women and stuff like that. Well, yeah, like uh, we, yeah, for for this for this example, yeah, like for approaching women because it can it can get it's kind of like. Maybe like riding a bike, but it just takes a little bit, right? Right. Well, the thing is this. is The, the, the best thing to do, really, is this. You got to throw yourself into the situations, right? What I, what I usually like to do, um, and I, I've done this with like clients of mine and stuff, is this, let's say, for example, um, just like, um, like you want to do, do things where it seems scary and it seems tough to to do because if you could do the tough things or the things that you feel is uh hard to do then everything else is going to seem a little bit more easier it's going to be easier for you to like make shit happen so for example like i would be you know at a like a, a bar or something with a client or whatever and so there would be like a group of girls sitting in a circle like at a at a you know in a, in a booth or whatever and so i tell him to like go over there and talk to all of them and try to sit with them. You feel what I'm saying? Like sit in the middle of them. So you're interrupting all that shit. You're like getting into that whole space and, and taking over. And so yeah. it's scary because you're like, oh shit, like what well, how am I gonna do that? What am I gonna say? Like what's going you know you understand what I'm saying? So it's not even yeah. about what's gonna happen, it's about your willingness to do it. So when you're when you have the willingness to do it and you actually go out there and make it happen. That's really the key. So the key is just having the willingness to actually go and do it. It's not about you getting the girl or if she's going to say this or is this going to happen. All of that stuff comes later. But it's the willingness to do it. So what's going to get you to that next level is being willing to actually push yourself to do it. That's really it. You see what I'm saying? And so what's going to happen is, is that, like you said, in New York, there's, it's a, the shit is like fast paced. People moving all around and doing all this and doing all that. Now, once you once you this uh, uh, um, once you've gotten to the place where you you have that willingness to do it, where you're like, I'm not necessarily afraid to approach women. Then what you want to do is you want to see what's the best uh, situation for you when it comes to interacting and approaching women. So, for example, situation. Right. So, for example, okay. I don't I don't necessarily 
like approaching women in the street. That's not really like my favorite thing. Now, if I see a chick that I think is hot, I may say something to her in the street or whatever like that. But usually yeah. what I like to do is I like to go to events or bars and shit like that and approach women there. You understand? That's just my like thing to do because it's it's more um, enjoyable for me in those situations and it's it's a little bit more easier for me in those situations. You see what I'm saying? So, so, but, so oh, what you saying? Yeah, so, well, re now that you touched on that, um, mm. it is, I, I remember you were once saying that, like, women can, like, tell when you don't have anything going on, mm. and uh, they kind of, like, can, I guess, sense that energy or that, mm. that whatever it is that you got, and when it comes to, like, social events, is it because, like, you can just, like, less fearful to just talk to everybody? Mm. Like, is that is that kind of, like, is that a reason why? Is that how, like, they can tell? Because well, the thing I've is... That, I, I've noticed that about me. Like, when I don't have anything going on, I'm just less sociable. As opposed to when I do, I'm mm. more sociable. Right. Well, the thing is with, with events and shit, you know, people are there to meet other people. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times it's easier to meet people there because they're there trying to meet people and trying to interact with people. So that's a little yeah. bit easier. Um, but as far as being social, like this is the thing is that you want to practice just being social just in general. And, and just even if you don't have a, a, a lot going on, you should have a lot going on. If you're like actually living your life and doing interesting things, you should always be doing that. But you want to be able to, like, be able to have a conversation and keep conversations going and be interesting and, you know, go back and forth with people regardless. Because it's the thing. Yeah. You want to be able to be, be able to be on at any moment. Because what's going to happen is you may, like, for example, even though I don't like talking to chicks in the street that much, there yeah. may be a time where I'm actually walking down the street and I see a, a bad chick I may, I may want to talk to. So now I got to be on and ready to do that at the drop of a hat if i want to you know holler at that girl you see what i'm saying so yeah. the, the thing is just in general you want to know how to do it but overall you want to say okay what are the things that work for me the most and then just do more of that so i have a friend who he likes to just holler at chicks in the street that's what works for him he, he loves that shit and that shit is, is easier for him me i'm more of the bar and the club scene or even do, I do like online game a lot of times. You see what I'm saying for for most of my shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you know it all depends on you. You see what I mean? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying like to, to kind of like a, like trying mm -hmm. to get like uh, you know trying to find out my own thing or where mm -hmm. I like where I guess I flourish. I mm -hmm. guess you could say. But uh, but yeah, yeah. That's 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 for sure. And like real quick, I want to mm. give a shout out to Miles because I actually tried mm. something he, he suggested once mm. <laughs> in New York. I literally went up to well, a couple of girls and I just asked them, "Yo, guys, what's going on?" Mm. Right. Just, just flat out like that because I had nothing better to do. I just asked them like, "Hey, what's hey guys, what are you guys talking about?" That's mm. what I asked. Them. Right. And you know they gave me an attitude, but you know it was it was funny at the time. So real quick, <laughs> shout out to Miles. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Miles. That's my dude right there. But that's that's what it is. All look, it's really all about. Putting yourself out there. That's really the main... The main thing is being able to do it. It's not... Because once you do it, that's half the, the work already. Once you're able to approach, that's half the work already. Because now, what happens is... There's going to be a, 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 a percentage of women who are automatically going to like you. This is what guys don't understand. This is, why I was, this is why I always talk about the numbers game. Yeah. You could go up to... You could go up to 100 girls... And just say, what's up? How you doing? That's it. Just say, what's up? How you doing? And yeah. probably eight to ten of those hundred girls is going to be feeling you off the bat already. You see what I'm saying? And that's because oh, you wow. made the decision to just go and approach. You see what I mean? So yeah. it, it, it's not really oh. like rocket science or a big thing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think it just takes a little getting used to. Um, um, and real quick, uh, have you ever, just really quick question. Have you ever had anybody who's been like really rusty and then they had like a year where they were just they were getting mm -hmm. i guess choosing signals but it took them a while to like to like snap out of that mindset that they were in that mm -hmm. they were like conditioned and it took them like they passed up one opportunity maybe two mm -hmm. three four until mm -hmm. they finally started to like accept it mm -hmm. like oh i am actually attractive i do have something from mm -hmm. like maybe 20 year olds 30 year olds maybe women who are like married mm -hmm. like has, has you ever come across people like that well, the thing, thing? Is, well, the thing is, is that in, with, with, with anybody, it all all it takes is for them to see it for themselves. So it's, you know, uh, there's a lot of people who they're, they're they're in their head. You understand what I'm saying? And so they need to push themselves to get out of their head, meaning they just need to they just need to do. And then once they do, 
things, then they start to see that, okay, this is actually happening. So, like, even the last caller, he was like, yo, I'm out here talking to, you know, four girls right now. This shit is real. This shit is popping off. And it's because at some point he has to get out of his head and actually be in the situation. And then that's when they start to realize more that is that it can really happen. So it's really about um again, putting yourself out there so you can really see what's going on. That's that's all it that's all it's about because most of these guys, especially on the internet, you know, you got a lot of guys, they call themselves TFLs and incels and all these other shit. And a lot of these guys, the reason why they don't even do anything is because they already say to themselves, Well, I don't look like fucking Channing Tatum, so no girls gonna like me anyway. So what's the point of even talking to a girl? So therefore they never talk to a girl. They never actually see what's really going on out there so that they never have yeah. that experience to see for themselves, oh, shit, maybe this girl could like me or maybe, you know, a girl actually wants to have a conversation with me. They have no idea. And so that's, so that's the thing. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. That's they don't know what it that's is. That's all they're saying. Yeah, they don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, that's what okay. it is, man. You feel me? All right. But man, yeah, yeah. 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 Appreciate the call, my brother. All right? Yeah, I appreciate the help, man. All right, bro. I'm out. Peace. Thanks, man. Take care. But yeah, that's what it is, man. A lot of these dudes, they the, the, the beliefs are so limited. You understand? Exactly, Albert. Limiting beliefs. Real talk. Real talk. Now, let me see. This is you. What's going on? Hey, Locardo. What's popping, bro? What up? What's going on? Who's this? Uh, this is David Jesus from Minnesota. All right. What's going on, man? What's the deal with you? Yeah. Uh, nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Just. Uh, living life and shit, you know. Right. Um, so I had a question. Um, where I, uh, I, so I know, I know this has kind of been asked before, mm -hmm. but I guess I want to get more like specific into it. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's because like, uh, Ooh. I kind of, I kind of got tired a little bit of the like the tender thing mm -hmm. because I was like, like. I do want to, like, actually, you know, interact more. And that's just for me to kind of get better at my game. And, like, right. actually, like, approach more and talk more to, like, women, like, in the street, in mm. a way. Right. <laughs> but, god damn, they, like, low-key be hard as fuck to find. Especially, like, during the week. Like, at least the weekend, like, you know where to go. You know what I'm mm. saying? So that that's not, like, too bad. Right. But, like, during the week. When let's say like you really have nothing to do, maybe like in the evening, mm -hmm. and you're just thinking like, "Damn, I wish there was a spot you know you could go to like regularly and maybe just talk around and talk to chicks." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And like, yeah, like do you like what do you do in situations like those? Basically, as far as if you're trying to you trying to find places to meet women and all that, I guess yeah, and what? like a more like casual like mm -hmm. setting. Where it's like, you know, because like I'm not going to hit the bar on a Wednesday. You know what I mean? Right. Well, the thing is, well, the thing is, again, you have to, because there, there might be some bars on Wednesdays where shit is popping. You just never know. That's This is why you got you to do your homework about what's happening in your area. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Because, yeah. because the bet, you say you're from Minnesota, right? Yeah. And so depending on from wh where you're at, you know, there's going to be certain areas where it's things are popping off more than others like because like in new york there's like you know uh a lot of shit going on you know what i'm saying <laughs> like like almost yeah. all the time and then and then sometimes truthfully there'll be like certain days where shit is kind of like you know quiet too so you gotta you gotta do some homework and say okay i know this place and this place is popping off on mondays this place and this place is, is good on wednesdays so you gotta know and search around and and ask around what's going on in your area you know what I mean? Look online and see what's going on because what it is is that you want to be able to know the the places and be able to take advantage of understanding like, oh, I know every Thursday this spot be popping off so that when a Thursday come and you want to actually go out and meet some girls or you say, okay, I'm going to just always go to this place on Thursday or you might have two or, two or three places on Thursday. So if this place is kind of lame tonight, I'm going to go to the next place on Thursday. So you just have to, you have to understand what um, is happening in your in your situation, and also what type of girls are usually at the places where you're going to. You see what I'm saying? So, so for example, one of my one of my boys, what he does is that he knows like all of the hot spots in the city that's popping off, and 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 what's happening 
every day of the week. Not only that, he knows the people um, who work there. He knows the bouncers at the front. Like, he has all the shit, like, uh, you know, down packed. But that took him a few months to, 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 you know what I'm saying, to realize what was going on. You see what I mean? So he yeah. took the time to, to, yeah, he took the time to see, okay, I know on Saturdays I could go here, here, and here. I know, you know, Tuesdays I could go here, here, and here. And so he knows which type of girls is going to be there. He knows all that shit. So now whenever he feels like, look, I want to go meet a girl and I want to go out and meet a chick, he's not guessing and wondering, oh, I wonder what's happening and should I go to this? He already knows. So that you already know that this place is a spot. Let me go here and go there. So you just got to do your homework, bro. You know what I'm saying? I guess. But That's like, it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, because I, I, I just moved into like the area I live into now, mm. like a couple right. months ago. Mm. So like, I'm closer to Minneapolis, which is where, like you were saying, like mm. everything kind of pops off. Mm. Except like, you know, to go like every day and shit is like, damn. Mm. But and how, and how guess, long? Like, how long does it take you to get to to uh, Minneapolis from where you at? Uh, between like fifteen and twenty minutes. How how long? Like fifteen to twenty minutes. Man, that ain't nothing. What you talking about, bro? Come on. <laughs> what are you talking about? Fifteen minutes, bro? Come nah, on. Right. That's that's like like no traffic. But like um, I guess like uh, like days that there is traffic, especially now that mm. there's like snow and shit. Right. That's when it gets kind of like fucked. You that's not saying? that's like, not bad, bro. Going. Fifteen twenty minutes, you good, bro? You just gotta go go to them areas, find out what's going on in them areas. Find out what's popping off at certain nights because, like for example, there's a, there's a bar near my near my house where, um, they have these like trivia nights or something, and it'd be packed as fuck in there with with, with a whole bunch yeah. of people. So it's like it's certain things you just need to know, and you say, okay, I know there's gonna be this amount of people here or this amount of women here. Or this, you know, you understand what I'm saying? So you just gotta know beforehand, so so that you don't take too many gambles and waste a lot of time going to places or spots that's not really popping off. Or, or trying to find places that don't exist. Or what, you understand what I'm saying? So you got to do yeah. some homework just to know what's going on in your in your situation. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Same thing for uh, same thing for even when you when you when you start dating these chicks and when you start interacting with these girls is that you need to already know certain places. Because you say you just moved. You say you just moved out to where you at, right? Yeah. Right. So now, yeah, this is the time you need to do that. You need to figure out, okay. What's happening here? What's happening here? Because when you take chicks out on dates or you, you take chick, chick girls out to go different places, you want to be able to know, okay, cool. I know this cheap spot over here where I can take this girl to get a drink. You feel what I'm saying? That's right near my house. Yeah. I know it's going to take me 10 minutes from there to my... So you know all of that shit and then you can able, you're can you able to move smoother in all your interactions. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what it is, bro. All right? All right, all right man. I'm going to let you later. All right, peace. All right, peace. All right, crazy. Whew. But um, but yeah, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. So what's popping up in the chat room? We got y'all talking about y'all talking about Drake baby mama. <laughs> Why? Right, Cause I saw me y'all saw me in the picture with her. You guys can you know get the 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 the. Digital package. We have a whole joint of her in 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 you know bikinis and shit, taking pictures and all that. Go to alexsexynaked.com to get to get you you know to get that. You said, do I coach lesbians? I mean, I've coached a few lesbians, but that's not really my my main thing. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You said what's happening with women putting their snap on Tinder, but you don't want to do shit when you hit them up. That's because they just want <laughs> they just want you to hit, you know go on a Snapchats or whatever or like the the Instagrams and all that shit. You understand? You said should you approach every girl you find attractive? Um, I mean, it depends because you might find a lot of girls attractive, so you might not have time to approach all the girls you find attractive, but you should approach as many women as you can that you find attractive. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. But you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta 
go for the ones that you're really feeling. It's, you know, it's, a, it's a totally different experience when you're dealing with a chick you're really feeling, you're really attracted to, versus a girl you're just like, she's all right. She's okay. You said, is it cool to judge girls based off of their appearance? What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean with that question? Because, I mean, you're judging them to see if you think they're hot, if you want to, like, you know, hook up with them. So... You feel me? You said, do you support women financially? If she's if she's not your wife or girlfriend, you don't support her financially at all. You shouldn't. Hold on. Yo, what's going on? Yo, I can't hear you. You got to speak up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear me? You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you a little bit. What's, what's popping? Chilling, man. Chilling, man. You already know it's big thing, man. How you? I'm chilling, chilling. What's going on with you? You know, you know, cooling, cooling. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, man. I just I came in a little late today, but uh, we seen the other day. Mm -hmm. I think we was talking to that dude, I'm like Mike or Cuddles. Right. And I'm you like, going, yeah, bro. I'm like, you telling this dude all the game and everything, and, and like the dude trying to be like defiant or like not trying to listen to what you're saying. I'm mm -hmm. like. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to yell through the screen, like, yo, bro, listen to what he's telling. He's giving you all the game. Just listen. Right, right. Well, look, man, you know... Well, look, you gotta understand something, man. Let me, let me, let me tell you some, some shit, man. And this is, this is what, for, for, for what a lot of people gotta understand, man. You gotta understand that some people actually don't want help. You gotta turn on your, your, your computer, because I hear, I can hear the feedback in the background. But... But some people don't want help. Some people, they don't want to learn game. You feel what I'm saying? They just, like, there's a lot of people who who um, go on YouTube and watch certain things for entertainment, but they don't actually want game. You feel what I'm saying? They want to be entertained. So, or, or they, uh, and also they don't want their reality shattered. You feel what I'm saying? So what that means is, is that, like, for example, um, someone like Mike, and shout out to Mike, Mike will say, you know, oh, this isn't going to happen, or you need this, or you need that. But when you have things that prove that you don't need whatever, you know, he's saying you need, that means that he has to actually step up his game and do the work to get things going. You see what I'm saying? So so that's why, that's why you have certain people who, you know, they, they don't really want... To learn how to do it, or they don't really want to do the things. You understand? They just want uh, their own thoughts and and you know things validated. You understand what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But you know what I'm saying? What when 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 people are ready to actually make the change, that's when they're going to actually start to take shit seriously. You see what I mean? That's all it is. Right, right, right. I mean, some one time it's like. Anything you said, he had an answer. You know, people like that, you never get through to. Because mm -hmm. I remember you was like, yo, what if you got no money? Getting the perfect answer. Hold on, yeah. What's up? Wait, wait, what's up with your phone, bro? Nah, 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 nah. We, okay. we good right now, right? Okay, yeah, we good oh, now. Right, right, speak right, right. What, how are you speaking now? Speak like that, because your phone is like yeah, yeah. doing something crazy. But go ahead. Yeah, like I was saying, I was like, um, I remember one time he had mm -hmm. said, yo, what if you don't got no money? Mm -hmm. And you're like, bro, get a water bottle and walk in the park with us. Right. You know? He still was like, he just didn't get him. Like, that's some A1 game right there. Like, mm -hmm. you can't lose with that. Mm -hmm. Like, I, like I, I, I don't get it. Right, and, uh, right. Earlier, I watched one of your videos and you was talking to female. Mm. And um, I, I think you know what I'm talking about. And, like, you were talking about how you pick locations and stuff. Mm. And she was like, oh, I tell the guy the location and all that stuff. I'm mm. like, she wasn't listening either. I was like, mm. that was pissing me off, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. And see, I'm like, Yo, and see, you know, it's funny. You know it's funny. I like you know it's funny because I have I have people that they'll hear, they'll have videos of me, uh, you know, with, with with women on it or whatever, and so I put those on on purpose because I want I want you guys to hear certain things from a woman's perspective and how they're doing things and how they're, um, you know, navigating the game so that you'll see that this is how they're actually you know doing shit. This is why I have like girls on the live streams and all this other stuff. And I'm gonna have some more of that later too. But the thing is, is that, you know, when it comes to 
you being a man, and this is what I was talking about earlier about following the lead. You understand what I'm saying? Or, or having, or you following her lead. A lot of times, women, they're going to end up um, taking the lead because the guy isn't. And the guy allows her to continue to take the lead, which is something you should not do. You see what I'm saying? And so that's what I try to get guys to understand because once you start down the path of following the girl, you already lost. Because little by little, she's losing respect for you and she's not really trying to fuck with you. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. So you know. That video was a perfect example of mm. how some girls don't know what they want. Mm. Because she's going to tell the guy that she don't like like that. Yeah, mm. let's meet here. Let's do this. And then when the date goes on, it's going to go horrible. But the guy that she does like, she'll fucking drive an hour away for it. Right, you know right. And all her rules are out the window. Exactly. So it's just crazy. You're just like, that's a perfect example of like, you know, you got to mm. know what you want. Don't go with what girls want because they don't know what the fuck they want at all. Right. Real talk. Real talk, man. That's big facts. But, yo, I appreciate the Hello. call, my dude. Let me get a few more of these in. I'm going to holler at you later, all right? All right? But, yeah, that's what it is, man. Like, Ooh. motherfuckers got to, you know, y'all really, 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 really need to understand how important it is for you to be leading when it comes to dealing with women. You understand? So, you know. Let me see what's popping over in the chat room. We had some we had some trolls in the chat room earlier. <laughs> oh man, I, yo, it's so funny because you know what it is. People love trolling online, and they don't really like. Look, I understand motherfuckers want to watch goofy shit and they want to be entertained and they want to do a bunch of nonsense and all this other stuff. But the thing you got to understand is that when you're on this channel, when you're when you're here, this is real game here. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's what I I, I, I really want you guys to understand this. You understand? Because dudes who 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 watch my stuff and who gravitate to the stuff that I'm talking about actually change their lives you feel what i'm saying this is why this is why I'm, I'm so um you know like real about this shit you feel what i'm saying so you got to understand that you know there's a, there's a bunch of dudes on 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 the internet that want to stay in the same place you understand and it's like you have to understand that there are people who are like that you understand they, they just want to stay in the same place they don't want to actually progress they don't want to work on anything. They don't want to move. They don't want to actually like make shit pop. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, we, I'm working, yo, I can't wait. I can't, I, I can't even talk about the stuff I'm working on now, but y'all going to see, it's going to be some crazy shit. Me and my dude Miles is, is uh, getting it popping, so I, I can't wait to announce and let you guys know what we got in store for this year. It's, it's crazy. You understand what I'm saying? So we're going to make that shit happen. You're going to make that shit happen. But yeah, so the calling number, people, is 646-481-3901. So, you know. We're going to make that happen. Beast of me says sometimes you charge girls instead of checking them. He said, are you messing up or is that the same? Um, yeah, sometimes you could just charge a chick because sometimes, look, look, this is the thing. In certain situations, right? Excuse me. When you deal with girls, they're going to do things that are not up to your standard and you say to yourself, I don't want to even deal with th this girl anyway, because she's just on some other shit. So I don't need to check her. Cause I'm, I'm like, I'm good. I don't even want to deal with her. So I'm going to just charge her. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. So ain't nothing wrong with charging a chick. And the thing is, is that if you, um, if you, uh, you know, if you have that abundance mindset, you don't give a fuck. 
He said, what do I think about Kamala Harris as president for the next term? Um, I don't know. I've really been paying attention to that, actually. I got I to gotta check what that's about. He said, did I see Amanda Seals on a breakfast club? That's funny, actually. See, I, I, me and Miles know Amanda Seals personally. So, but I'm, I'm not, I'm going to just leave it at that. I'm not going to say, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything further. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? This is Andrew. What's popping? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm calling in. What's going on? Oh, am I, I'm live? Yeah, you live, bro. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm from, <laughs> I'm from Jersey. I didn't expect I'd be picking up this. <laughs> right. So what's, what's going on with you? Um, okay, so here, here's the deal. Um, I was really good. This isn't on the main theme of necessarily what you're talking about. I was I was really good with women back in the day in high school mm. and in college. And, uh, you know, my game has definitely uh, been on the decline. Mm. So I guess my question to you is, um, right now it would be going for low-hanging fruit because mm. I have some options available to me. And I'm wondering if I should lower the bar just to get back into the swing of things. Mm. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Right, I see what you're saying. So you're trying to say, should you lower your standards to 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 uh, to try to get back in the game to get shit going? Right, exactly. Cause like, I, because I, I'm kind of perfectionist about the way I approach mm. things like that. Mm. Well, this is the thing. You shouldn't you shouldn't lower your standards because that's not really going to that's not really going to help you. You understand? That's actually going to um that's going to hurt you more than help. You understand? Because, mm-hmm. because what it is, is when you lower your standards, what you're saying is that you're not up to par within yourself. You don't see, you don't feel, or you don't see yourself as someone who should be a, a, at a certain standard. You understand? You, you, you're, you're bringing yourself. Cause when you, let's say, for example, you see a girl that you're not really that in, interested in, right? But you're like, well, I'll try her because she isn't that hot. So your thinking is going to be easier to get her. You feel what I'm saying? But, right, right, right. Right. But what happens is, is that when you lower your standards, you're also lowering yourself because your standards is part of what you're about. You feel what I'm saying? So you're, you're bringing yourself mm-hmm. down. And so what happens is, let's say you go up to that girl who you think is going to be easy and then you try to holler at her and she disses you. Then what? How are you going to feel about that? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? true. And so, and so lowering your standards, and that's, that's a misconception. Lowering your standards doesn't make it easier for you to get women. Because what you have to understand is, is that, um, for example, let's say, let's say you see a girl you're not that attracted to, right? Just because you're not attracted to her doesn't mean that is going to be easier to get her. You see what I'm saying? At all. Because right. you don't know what she likes and what she doesn't like because you may be looking at her like, oh, it's going to be easy to get her and you might not even be that girl's type at all, which is why she may, okay, so, you know, diss you. Uh, okay. But go yeah, ahead. So, so my question then is, would, would you say then it's almost better to get blown out by someone you find very attractive mm. than to approach somebody that you find like, Oh uh, yeah, I think I could kind of get with her. Mm. Um, I'm mediocrely attracted to her, mm. so let me approach her. So it would probably be. I mean, I was. I guess I would assume, even though it takes more courage to do so, mm. uh, it would. It might be better in the long run to approach mm. the girl that you think is probably going to blow you out of the water. Of course. It, well, and see, that's mm-hmm. what that's what you got to understand. It's not about the girl. That's what I'm saying. When this is the thing, if you say, let's say you see a girl who you think is a ten and a girl who you think is a five. Right? You say to yourself, damn, that girl who's a 10, I'm probably not going to get her because she's so hot. And then the girl you think is a 5, you're like, I'll probably get her because it's easier because she's she's a 5. You're not, when you say those things, you're actually talking about yourself. You're not talking about them. You think you're talking about them, but you're talking about yourself. Because what you're saying is, is that I don't think that I'm good enough to get that 10. And I, and I think that my level or I'm I'm so low that this is all I can get, which is the five. You see what I'm saying? Because but also because what you and this is what I'm saying. What happens is, and this is why I say you don't want to lower your standards, because all you're doing when you're lowering your standards is that you're lowering your self-esteem. And so right. what happens is is that that girl who you think is a five, 
may have way more confidence than the girl you think is a 10. So that girl you think is a 5 is going to uh, uh, diss you because she don't give a fuck about what you like. She's looking at what she likes. And if she don't like you, it don't matter. So there's no there's no easier girl to get with. The the, the thing of thinking that it's easier to get with a, uh, a girl you think is average looking versus a girl you think is hot is an illusion. You see what I'm saying? So 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 all you're doing by lowering your standards is just putting yourself in a space where you are thinking and feeling insecure. You understand? You don't want to do that. Because even if you even if you do get with that girl you think is a five, you're gonna feel a certain type of way because you know that's not what you really want. And she's gonna be a constant reminder to yourself, it's gonna be a reflection of to you of what you feel about yourself. You see what I'm saying? So who we yeah. choose to deal with is a reflection of us. You see what I'm saying? And so you yeah. choosing the five, you see what I mean? So you're 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 basically looking at what you feel about yourself. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And uh, so I, it, it is better just to go full on. Like if I am attracted to her, mm. just go for it. Yes. Don't, don't do it because you're, you're you're not you're not doing anything beneficial for yourself by exactly. Exactly, okay. and it's a whole different feeling okay. when you're dealing with the girl you actually want. Um, even if she, because even if the girl rejects you, that you actually want is better for you because you're just you're actually living in what you actually want to do. Because if you do get her mm-hmm. right, you're gonna have a way better time with that girl because you actually want her. You're like, I want this girl. So what happens is the dry spells or the the, the shit that you're going through now, that shit's right. going to dissipate at some point. But what you want to do is while you're doing your thing or trying to make something happen, you got to go and still talk to the girl you actually want. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Always go for the girl you want. Don't don't lower your shit. The only time I, the only time you could probably lower your standards a little bit is if let's say you're at a bar, at a club or whatever and it's like 3 in the morning and there's a chick who you know wants to smash and she's giving you choosing signals and you just kind of want to get your dick wet then maybe. You feel what I'm saying? But other than that, nah. You feel what I'm saying? Other than that, you want to keep the, the standards up. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. I, that, I really appreciate that. And I've been mm. following you for a while. I just haven't called in yet. Mm. First time calling in. Probably That's what's up, man. So. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right, bro. thank you so much for what you're doing. I, I anticipate calling back in again, and thank you for answering my question. That's what's up, man. I appreciate it, bro. All right, I'm going to at you. Thank you. All right. Peace. All right, bye. Yeah, man. You even want to get to the point where you don't even take the the average girl at the end of the night. You'd be like, I'd rather just go home and chill and do my thing. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But don't 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 lower your standards, man. Do not lower those standards. Do not lower those standards, I'm telling you. Yo, what's going on? What's up, Lucario? It's John. John, what's popping? What's going on with you? Not much, man. What's going on? Um, hey man, uh, so about the standards thing, mm. um, I just wanted to get your opinion, like, how far do you go with that? Mm. Um, meaning, like, because I was asking you in the chat, you know, mm. uh, is it cool to, like, judge girls based on how they look? Mm. Or not their appearance, not, not how they look. Mm. Um, so basically, like, like, I'll meet chicks and, like, I'll get their, either Instagram or, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll meet them on uh, dating sites or whatever. Mm-hmm. And just based on their appearance, like sometimes it's just the way they are, you know, in their pictures or mm-hmm. just assumptions in my head about them. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm going too far with the judging or with the standards. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So what are you saying? You're so saying, like, you're saying that sometimes you see a chick and based off of how she like appears as far as like the way she dressed or the type of girl she seems to look like or be you, you exactly you, you yeah. judge her and you say oh she looks like a slut or she looks like she's going to be this way or that way is that what you're saying yeah 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 well the thing is this is um you know first you just want to look for the girls you're attracted to you understand if you're attracted to a girl and you think she's cute or whatever you think she's attractive you might you know you say hey i would hit it i would hit it i would hang out with her whatever then you know you try to go and see what can go down, but then you have to talk to them or communicate with them to see how they actually are. Yeah, exactly. You know, personality-wise, like, right? And then like, you then you I make heard a judgment. You say that you didn't even like 
like you went out with the girl and like mm. she changed places up on you or something mm. and like you didn't even you didn't even like fuck her because mm. that pissed you off so bad like you know what I mean right 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 like that that's the kind of shit like I'll be doing but mm. it, it gets so like frustrating sometimes because it sometimes I feel like it's over the top like I'm almost mm. too controlling but mm. it's like I, I don't know how to like turn that off well this know, is the, this is the thing though should. Well, this is the thing. You you should you should have a certain standard where you say, "Look, I, I you know," and make it realistic. You understand? Because my thing with that was with that situation. It was just the fact that that girl didn't listen to me. So my standard is when I'm yeah. dealing with a woman who doesn't listen, I I just cut her off. You understand? Like she's charged. And so what happened is is that you know there's a lot of girls that got to cut off for not listening or or being very like you know, belligerent or just being all over the place. And I'm like, all right, I'm not really fucking with this girl like that no more. But what happens is that I'll keep getting girls coming through the, the, the you know, the fold. So it's like, it's, it's the thing where I'm never really at a loss for women because there's always new women that I could holler at and what new women that is trying to make it happen. So, which is, which is, you know, which makes it easier a lot of times to be like, yo, I'm, I'm good. You understand? Because since you have that abundance, you're like, I'm good. So it's more so what will make what will make what you're saying irrelevant is the fact if you have more girls that you're dealing with. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's what um, it is. But, like for you personally, like mm. like what's the cutoff? Like how far would you go with like mm. the standard thing? You know what I mean? Mm. Like not based off the of look, but I think just in general, like how how far do you go? Like like what is your? Because it's it's a thin line between. Mm. I, I think for me sometimes where like my patience just draws so thin mm. with certain things, and it's like, fuck, oh, man, you know. Mm. Well, this is the thing. You got to figure out what's really important to you in your life in the situations you're trying to deal with. So, for example. Like, I'm a busy motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm super busy. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and you know, I, so so even just that within itself is, you know, this is why it's important for me to have a woman who listens to what I say. Because since I'm busy and since I don't have that much time and since I'm, you know, moving and shaking and doing all this other stuff, because me personally, this is how my life is. When I'm dealing with a girl and she's being wishy-washy, she's being all over the place, she's not listening... It's almost like I have to cut her off. It ain't. It, it's not even like because this times I cut girls off, where like like that example that same girl who I didn't have sex with, I wanted to have sex with her. You understand what I'm saying? But I had to be like, yo, I gotta, I can't fuck with you now. You understand? Because there's certain times where me me being able to because this is the thing. It's more important for me to be on my purpose, doing my thing, making things work in my life the way I want it to work, that's the most important thing. So women, when it come, when they come into the fold, they have to be benefiting that. If they're not benefiting that, they need to go. So when a chick is, you know, um, you know, wasting time or, you know, not listening to what I'm saying, right? That right there is... Is it's a negative energy towards what I'm trying to what I'm ultimately doing in my life. You see what I'm saying? So it's really that. So that's really what it is. This is why I tell guys you got to figure out what you want and what you're about, because that's going to make it easier for you to cut the girls off. Because a lot of times I don't even have to question should I charge a stick to the games. I always get guys hit me up. They're like, Yo, should I stop talking to this girl? Should I not? You should know whether or not you should right. stop talking to a girl or not based off of mm -hmm. your principles and based off of your standard. You see what I'm saying? So, so the thing is, you want you, and, and again, you want to be realistic. You don't want to be on some shit like, oh, if a if a chick cough, I'm I'm charging her to the game. You understand? You don't want to be on some crazy shit like that, right? But the thing is, I, I I've I've had too many situations, or I've had a lot of situations where I have women who listen to what I say, women who cooperate, women who are down for what I'm saying to do. So since I know that they're out there and I know that they're like that, I know that they're going to do that. I don't you need to, standard, yeah. right. I don't need to, uh, yeah. you know, do all because a lot of guys, this is what they do. They don't have enough experience dealing with women who are down for what they're about. So then they bend over backwards to get a girl because they feel like, well, I guess I got to call her back or I guess I should hit her back up or I know she flaked like twice but I should call her again because maybe this time and it's and that's out of desperation 
You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. out of not having yeah, that exactly. abundance mentality. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you know that, that's true because like, I think with my situation, I was I was kind of I'm going based off of like a limited number of girls, you mm-hmm. know, and I'm not I'm not I'm not getting the numbers up because I'm kind of like you. I don't I don't like the whole cold approach thing. Mm-hmm. I'm more used to you know meeting girls socially through mm-hmm. you know circles or mm-hmm. you know a friend of a friend and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But, right, uh, and, and, and that's yeah, the I think, thing is I think that, it's just a numbers game for me. Like, I'm not mm-hmm. finding enough girls to mm-hmm. kind of fit into my picture, you know what I mean? Right, and that's the thing. You got to you gotta be, uh, you know, 24 hours with this shit. You feel what I'm saying sometimes? Yeah, Meaning, like, if you're online, you know, because sometimes I'll be, on, I'll be on Tinder, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, swiping. I'll be on, you know, taking a shit, swiping. I'm, you know, standing in line at a store, swiping. You understand what I'm saying? Or if I go to an event, you know, I'm talking to, you know, all the girls in the event that I think are hot. Then after I'm done out of there, I'll go to the next event. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like stuff like that you would have to do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, or, or if you want to talk to chicks outside, like, you know, some guys are like, okay, I'm going to do this outside. Whatever you're doing, you have to uh, exhaust it. And you have to do it consistently. The problem is some guys, they'll do like, they'll talk to a girl today or talk to a few girls today and then don't talk to no girls for two weeks. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that, yeah, and that, that, yeah, that comes from just them giving up. Yeah. Right. I mean, so it has to be that a, a daily thing. Right. It has to be a daily thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so when you make it that daily thing, what happens is, is that you start to get more of that abundance in the situation where, you know, because what happens is, is this, you want to get it to the point where you have too many women. I'm not, and I actually got it. I'm going to have to do a whole video just on that. Where when, you ha- when you're at the point where you feel like you have too many women, then all of the stuff you're talking about is, well, it will never be an issue as far as the standards thing. Because you're already going to have so many girls on the team. You're going to be like, oh shit, like, you're going to be like, you're going to be looking at new girls like, damn, I don't even know if I have space. I don't even know if I have time. You feel what I'm saying? To deal yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I mean? So... It, that, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So you got to really go out there and, and, and keep that going because, and this is the, this is what I'm saying, the, some of the issues that most men have in the game, it w- can be, can can all be gone based off of them actually putting enough energy and effort into creating an abundance. So a lot of times guys will say, damn, I'm not having enough sex. Okay, well, the reason why you're not having enough sex is because you don't have enough girls around. The reason why I don't have enough girls around is because you haven't been putting in enough work to get them. You understand? Guys will be like, oh, you know, uh, I'm so mad at this girl because she flaked on me. The only reason that's even an issue is because you're probably only dealing with that one girl. If you had five or six other girls trying to hit you up every week, you wouldn't even care about this one girl flaking. You, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? So, like London, yeah. Right. So a lot of times is that when you... A lot of the issues you may be having in the game is coming from your lack uh, or your scarcity of women that you're dealing with. You see what I'm saying? Right. The more women you have, the the you know the the easier it's going to be to have interactions that's going your way versus worrying about oh well this girl rejected me and this like a rejection don't mean shit to you because you're like yo I got all these chicks already over here. You understand what I'm saying? Making shit happen. Mm-hmm. So, so that's what I'm saying. A lot of the stuff is going to, you know, dissipate based off of you having that abundance when you're dealing with chicks. And, 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 and also, too, you want to get it to the point where you, you know that you can get shit going, right? Meaning you know you can get a girl here or there. You go out, you, you, you're able to pull a chick. You're able to get girls offline. You're able to get girls in the street. You want, to, you want to be able to have the knowledge to know that you can make it happen. So when, let's say, for example, you do go through, let's say, a dry spell or, you know, some of the girls you're messing with, they fall off and you was probably just working on some projects or whatever. So now you, you're you down to like one or, or zero women. You're not, you're, 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 you used to have that mindset, the abundance mindset so that you still keep your standards up. You feel what I'm saying? Because the last guy I was calling, he was talking about lowering his standards. The reason why he yeah. wanted to lower his standards was because probably he doesn't have that abundance mindset. You see what I'm saying? And so he feels, well, damn, I got to, you know, go for this low hanging fruit in order to like, you know, get something going. And then maybe later I can 
get the shit. I'm like, why don't you get the shit now? You feel what I'm saying? Why don't you get the stuff you want happening now? And the way to make it happen for you and the way to make it even uh, a, a little bit more feasible for it to happen is that you got to make sure you, your, your standards are up already and you got to put in that work. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that you can rebuild yeah, yeah. that situation. You see what I mean? And that, like, that too, it's like it creeps up on you. Mm-hmm. Like, when you're not fucking, when it goes from like three girls to like one mm-hmm. or none, like, right. you stop, you, it's like, you stop having that abundance, like, for sure, mm-hmm. you know, and you, right, you, and it, it does creep, it does creep up on you, though, mm-hmm. like, and, Right, and it, right, like and, and that's, we talk about all the time mm-hmm. of like being, like don't be outcome dependent, you mm-hmm. know, because like like you say all the time, the truth is inside you, you know. So mm-hmm. regardless if you're having three or none right now, like exactly, you know, yeah, you know, you'll be able to do it again, or mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Exactly, and that's and that's the point. Yeah. And see, and that's the thing right there, and that's why we call it having the abundance mindset. Because even when you yeah. don't have the literal abundance there. You have the mindset of abundance, meaning that you, because I, I said this before in another video where I look, you know, dudes be talking about like, um, you know, they get all emotional or egotistical when it comes to dealing with women and, and, and like they'll be out with a girl and they'll be handcuffing her because they scared that another dude's going to try to holler at her or whatever. My thing is, I look at the entire world as my bitch. You feel what I'm saying? So it's not just this chick. It's all these girls. Like all like when I walk into a, a, a club or a bar, every girl in there is my girl. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't need to <laughs> fuck with you and get like it don't matter. As soon as I come yeah. out the spot, all those girls on the that's my girl. I don't give a fuck. And so and that's the abundance mindset. So the thing is, if I'm literally dealing with four or five girls and all four or five girls fall off, I could get four or five girls by next week. You feel what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter. Yeah. You see what I mean? And so that's how I'm looking at it where I'm never in a, in a situation where it's like I need for it to 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 happen. It's already it's already there. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's at my right. fingertips. You feel what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that that's yeah, exactly. the way you got to look at it, you know that's, what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll be honest though that that shit does creep up on me where mm-hmm. like I kind of lose sight of that, you know. Mm-hmm. You do lose sight of that when things are aren't going your way for right. you know, you do have those dry spells and then you mm-hmm. you kind of start doubting yourself a little mm-hmm. bit, but Right, right. It all comes full circle, I think, when you right when you think about it. And that, and and that's and that's why I tell guys you got to understand the the balance in the game because there are going to be times where there's dry spells, and that's that's natural. That's that's part of the yeah. process because it's just the ebb and flow of things. So it's, it's 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 just what really you know it's just like in business when you if you look at a, a business chart of a company, you are gonna always see it go up and down. You always see that up and down thing. That's natural. Yeah. That's just part of the game. So it's the same thing when you deal with women and interacting with women. It's just that you got to understand that even though you're at this point now, it's going to go right back up and then you're going to go right back down. You're going to go right back up. Same thing if you're even dealing with the, uh, one girl. You could be dealing with one girl. That could be a girlfriend. You're going to have days where everything is all great. Then you're going to have days where you're out arguing. You're going to have days where you, you, everything's Yo, back up. It's the same that's shit. So true, dude. Right. Same shit. Oh, my goodness. It's that way for yeah. everything. This is what I, And this is what I'm yeah, trying to tell dude. guys. So when dudes be scared of the, to get rejected, I'm like, bro, you're supposed to get rejected. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's part of the thing. That's that's what I'm saying where dudes got to understand the balance of the whole yeah, game is like that. You, you, but you can't have a football game unless you have two teams, you know? There right. has to be a loser for there to be a winner. Exactly, you know? right. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So that's yeah. the thing. Somebody going to have to lose while somebody's winning, and then you're going to be winning at some point when somebody losing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's part of the whole thing. So when 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 it, it the, the thing is that you don't have to get discouraged it's just you have to understand. You have to understand yeah. that, and and this is why this is why I look at it as abundance, where it's like everything you need is already there, and even if at the moment it's not exactly what you want it to be, it will become once you just stay in tune with it. You see what I'm saying? You got to stay in tune with what's going on, and so yeah. that's that's what that's the thing that uh, a, a lot of guys don't get when it comes to the game, and that's why they get discouraged because. What you don't want to do is is that by you being discouraged, right? What happens is is that you sort of mess up the flow of how things are supposed to go anyway. Because when you start getting discouraged, you say, you know what? 
well, you know, fuck this. Like, I'm not even going to bother to to even deal with chicks anymore. I'm, I'm just going to not even bother because mm-hmm. it ain't, you know, it ain't working. And then you start to get even more discouraged. And then what happens is, is that you're not putting out that natural energy that you, you should be putting out to actually make things turn around. Because naturally, you're going to want the girls. You're going to see girls. You're going to be like, yo, that chick is bad. And that's how you naturally feel. But because you're discouraged and your ego is there and you're scared to get rejected, you're not going to approach her, which is disrupting the natural flow of things. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and so, yeah. you see what I mean? And, like, that, a lot of times, like, when people, like, talk like that, like, the whole looks, money, status thing, mm. like, all that shit, like, mm. that's always sounded like, like, people who have, like, a spoiled mindset. Like, mm. they're spoiled, you know? They right. want everything dropped in their fucking lap and... Mm-hmm. They don't, like, I think, I think it's important, like, for people, like, for me, I was always taught, you know, to have, you know, big goals, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, even if, you know, ha- you know, shoot high, because, you mm-hmm. know, even if you do fall short, mm-hmm. you go so much further than, right. which you would if you were to just set your bar lower, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Right, real talk, and, real talk. And it's like, I, I think people, like, when, when you're anything, it, like a job, fucking sports, mm. money, anything. When you're when you're trying for something, I, like having goals, what falls under that is, you know, failure. Regardless, mm. anywhere right. you are, you know, right. And, and that's, like, that's what's gonna happen. What you what you learn is how to be, you know, resilient. You know, and and that's the way I've always been is resilient. You know, mm-hmm. and uh, I think you just learn that, you know, regardless of what fucking goal you have. Mm-hmm. But right, real it talk. Is, it is, you know, if you don't have the backbone for it, you know, it is discouraging, and mm-hmm. you can't just fucking give up, you know. Right, and and also too, like you were saying, a lot of the dudes with the whole looks, money, status thing, and yada yada yada. Unfortunately, because this is what I always found funny. There's a lot of guys who, you know, um, you would call like let's say like the incel guys or the true force loneliness dudes, or even some like MGTOW dudes or whatever it is, right? Yeah. There's a there's a lot of people who they want like like it, it is funny the guys who are like the worst when it comes to attracting women usually want the hottest women yo they want the yeah. the the <laughs> most qua- I'll be like like a dude a dude who who is scared to t- talk to a girl he you know he doesn't know what to do what to say he's just on the internet he's he's like he's like bro but you know. How do you get the hottest girls, though? How do you get the hot girls? I'm like, bro, you need to learn how to get a girl, period. And you're talking about the hottest girls? And again, I always say to them, why would the hottest girl, and when I say hot, I'm I'm talking about she look good and she's on point, everything is, why would she want a guy like you when you're not putting anything in the game? You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have to put in to get out. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. That's like that's like me, you know, expecting to be a, a, a millionaire, but I'm like, well, I'm not gonna, you know, create any type of products or services. I just want to somehow get a million dollars. It's like, how are you gonna get bro, that? You feel what I'm saying? They're spoiled, bro. Like, right. They've had everything given to them mm-hmm. their whole lives. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That's that spoiled mentality, bro. And like, mm-hmm. I see that like, like a few years ago uh, when I got out of high school and got into college probably like three years ago now mm. one of my best friends his uh his younger brother had just graduated from high school and they his parents like gave him like a car you know mm-hmm. hand-me-down car mm-hmm. and the motherfucker didn't want to drive it dude i'm like mm. oh my <laughs> god like and 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 so my friend you know he he started driving it and he didn't have a problem with it you know he like his younger brother thought like you know, he would be embarrassed or, mm-hmm. you know, picking up a chick in it or something, you know what I mean? Right. And it's like, he just didn't know how to, like, make shit better for himself, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And that's, and you know what it is with, with the game is that th- the problem is, is a lot of guys, and even, you know, to be fair, women also, they think they don't need to work in order to, to be attractive or to attract. They want it to just happen. And so what happens is yeah. you're going to have situations where things may uh you know connect at first because there's a natural attraction there meaning like you may see a girl you think is attractive she may think you're attractive physically and then they all start talking or whatever but what happens is is that 
in order for anything to really happen or any, in order for anything to last or whatever it is, there needs to be some type of work and consistency and, um, you know, something to go down. Even if it's just a fuck buddy situation, you could, or even if it's just a one night stand, uh, to, 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 to have a one night stand go down still takes work. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so there, there's a lot of shit that goes down with your emotions, with, you know, how you actually orchestrate the situation with all these different things that it takes to actually make this occur. And so what happens is people don't realize that there's certain things you need to do to make things run smoothly or to make things work in your favor or to have a consistent, um, you know, uh, consistent experiences that's going to, you know, be beneficial to you. You got to freaking, you have to work at shit. And so, and so what I'm saying is in order for you to get the stuff you want, right? You have to put in work. So meaning you have to give something in order to get something. The problem is everyone wants to get something without giving anything. You understand? And that's the, that's the issue. You're not going to get that hot girl if you're not giving something, meaning that you have to give your time, energy, and whatever in order to attract her. You understand? Even if a dude is paying for it. Like if you pay for pussy, you got to give money. You're giving something to get something. Yep. You see what I mean? Yeah, so, it's, it, it's like cooking, bro. It's like people want the fucking fast food mm-hmm. drive through real quick. Right. Of actually taking the time to, mm-hmm. you know, cook something up. Right, right, exactly. That's yeah. that's what it is. They, they want everything simple. They want it easy. They want the best shit without having to move a muscle. And and what they what they Yo. what they don't understand is is that that girl that hot girl you want guess what she wants something substantial too she wants something on point too so what would make her it's like so it's like it's like if I and said that, to a guy I said to a guy yeah. listen I got this girl over here on a scale of one to ten you're gonna think she's like a three but she thinks you're like an eight or a nine so she wants you. You understand? So you're not you're gonna be like fuck out of here. Why would I want her? That's the same way women think about you guys when you're out here talking about oh I want the hottest girls and but but you ain't doing nothing to become an attractive guy for them to want to fuck with you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah, it's man. Crazy. I, I think my problem though, you 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 summed it up, man. I, I mm. think uh, I think I just need to figure out what exactly it is that I want. You know? Right. That's no what it is. Fucking with chicks is just. Sometimes it's like, damn, they be on some goose shit, but right. that's and, kind of my fault because I shouldn't mm-hmm. have been in that situation in the first place. Right, you know? and let me and let me tell you something. When you when you really figure out exactly what you want, that's when it's going to be super easy to get girls to get other other women. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, because because your all your shit, better, you know? right? Because all your stuff is going to all the things that you're doing. Is going to be easier for you to navigate because you have a blueprint of how you want things to go. So whenever you're dealing with a woman who's who doesn't fit into that, you're like, okay, I'm good, with, I'm I'm done. But then when you see a woman who fits in the, into that, that's a girl you could keep on the team, and then things will, will flow a little bit better. And the thing is, what happens is this is the key: a girl who's really feeling you, right? Mm. She's going to make everything that you want. Uh, flow easily because she wants you. It's really that simple. Yeah. So any, so for example, my myself, I'm in an open relationship and shit. I'm non-monogamous. So there's times where I was out with women and, and I never take off my ring. I'm like, you know, I just, I just do my thing or whatever. And I remember I was out with this one bad chick, and she was like, she was, she basically said this to me. She said, "I know you're married. You understand? I know you're dealing with other women." But I want to be with you however I can be with you. She was like, even if that's once a month, I'll do it. She was yeah. like, and she's like, yo, she said, if I could be with you even no. just once a year, I'll do it. That's how bad she was feeling. Oh, my God. You see what I'm saying? And that's because I set the standard of how I yeah, want to be in my want. life. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And that's hey, what it uh, is. One more thing, though. Uh, mm. Fucking... So I know you're, you know, you do more than dating, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Do you feel like the same way when it comes to your, your, you know, your professional life? Mm-hmm. Um, you kind of like I always got this from Corey Wayne. Mm-hmm. He always says um, you got to go where you're celebrated, not to- tolerated. Mm-hmm. Right. And 
I guess it, it is hard, you know, professionally to, to, to have that mindset, you know what I mean? Mm. How, have, how have you kind of navigated that when it comes to just dealing with fucking, you know, mm. uh, shit jobs and stuff? Right. Well, the thing is, you know, again, it's still it's still a, a, a certain standard for yourself of how you want to how you want to be just in your life period. So it, it all it, it also goes to that, too, where it's like you may be in a situation or a job that, you know, you don't like or you're not feeling, but you stay there because you say, well, you know what is the difference between you staying there because you say, you know what, I'm going to, I already have other plans of what I'm trying to do with my life to get it to the next level. So I'm just taking this money, stacking it, doing what I got to do and then I'm out versus Mm -hmm. you, you, you're at this place you don't like, you know, you don't like it, but you're, you're too scared to make a move. You understand? So you're not living up to your standard, which is why you're complacent in where you need to go or or where, where you're at. So, at the end of the day, it's really again, it's really figuring out what you want to do. Because even with me, I was like, look, I want to, I want to, you know, uh, run my own business. I want to do my own thing. And so now, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and this is like ten years in the making. So, you know, I, I just Damn. started yeah. like maybe like a year and a half, two years ago, working for myself as far as being able to sustain myself. Like I don't, I don't have a job. This is what I do all day. This like, you know, the, the coaching is what I do. Period. Like I don't work anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Go. And so, yeah. right, and so that that happened because I said, look, this is what I want. And then what happened is, is that I stayed... Just having continuous goals, yeah. Right, and this is the thing, and this is what, what people got to understand. You know, there's really no need to get discouraged because there was times where I was trying to... Because look, when I was doing this Miss Locario stuff, the first four years, I wasn't making any money. You know what I'm saying? And so, mm-hmm. but I had the drive... And I had the energy and I actually felt that this is what I want to do. You understand? Now, because I did that, even though things weren't happening in the way I wanted it to happen, because I still had the drive and because I was still being what I wanted to be and being who I am, right? What yeah. happened is, is that things started to fall into place because I was being exactly what I wanted to, to be and, and doing what I wanted to do. And I wasn't letting any discouragement because there was times I was like fuck this shit is crazy you know this ain't gonna work blah 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 but I kept going because it deep down I actually wanted to do it I actually really wanted it to do it because I always say I always say this you know you know when you break down the 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 term uh human being you understand because I'm trying to get a little deeper here when you say human being is basically telling you just to be now how I'm how right so how I'm being right is and, and when you say being, it's really you being what you're naturally feeling and being. Meaning that I naturally felt the urge to do what I'm doing. I naturally had the 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 feeling or the drive or the passion to do it. Now, if I'm getting discouraged, right? If I'm getting discouraged, what I'm doing is I'm stepping out of my natural element. I'm no longer being. Now I'm worrying. Now I'm anxious. Now I'm fearful. I'm not being. You feel what I'm saying? So right. even when shit's not going your way, you still be. You still have that desire. You still have that drive you always had because you, you're you being who you're supposed to be at that, at that point, regardless of what's happening. And what's going to happen is because you're being, everything else is going to fall into place because you're naturally being who you're supposed to be. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Things don't yeah, happen that, when you that, start falling off because you're, you know, uh, uh, forgetting who you are in that moment and continuing to be where you need to go. You see what I mean? Yeah, and that, that's mm. like another challenge too is like having that kind of mm. shell to be able to not let that stuff degrade you and, mm. and uh, degrade your natural, you know, state. Right, right. And not letting, not letting like, whatever it is in your environment to affect mm-hmm. you to that extent. Right, and that's the thing. And see, the thing is yeah. this. You, you're you going to feel it. You'll probably feel a certain way. You'll probably, uh, yeah. uh, you know, get those feelings and feel those emotions. But this is why you have to basically stay on your shit. This is why we say stay on your purpose. This is why, you know, my dude, that's Miles... That's like the fucking thing, dude, is like, 
opinion on track. I right, that, exactly. This I, is why I, I personally have had you know, mm. trouble with that. You know, and I think everybody does, but right. I think a lot of people don't come out on top, you know? Mm -hmm. This is why my dude, Miles, my dude, Miles Cunningham, you know, he, he was basically the first one talking about staying on your purpose. When you know when it, when it comes to this game stuff, nobody was really going deep into that. And I'm glad they, he was bringing that up because I was like, this is something that a lot of people need to understand. Because when you're staying oh, on yeah. your purpose, right? You need to. What happens is is that all those things that you are uh, trying to do or trying to make happen is going to fall into place. Because if you're being who you're supposed to be, what's going to happen is is that you're going to start to see, okay, damn, I got, you know, I should start doing this now, right? I got to go in this direction. I got to, but you're always moving. You're always, you're always moving forward. And so the things that, that aren't happening now will happen later because you're being on your purpose. And then therefore you're going to learn and understand and cultivate certain, uh, characteristic personality, uh, uh knowledge that you're going to gain. That's going to get you to that next level. But the thing is, if you, if you forget that you should be who you're supposed to be, that's what's going to throw you off track. This is why you have a lot of people who give up or who will mm -hmm. end up, they'll, 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 they'll fail, but they will stay in failure. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, well, yeah I think a lot of people too, they, they think of it as like a, mm. like a fucking belief system almost, mm. you know, and they think it's like some spooky mm. thing. Like I, I hear a lot of people talking about like the law of attraction. Like mm. I, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with it. Mm. I think, I think people, they skip to that kind of like spooky mm. kind of thinking and, but they don't see the work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I think what you're talking about is you have to not just believe, but mm. actually fucking work. You know? Right. Right. And keep, that's, and that's the keep, thing. That's the thing. Cause the thing, is, the thing with the, with the whole law of attraction thing really is, um, it's not anything like, cause I think, I think sometimes people, um, they, they take it, to a level where they not they don't really I guess understand it too much but it's really like this everything that you want is already there is already here everything you're trying to do everything you're trying to attain is already within your reach what happens is is that you have to be conscious of what you want and then therefore you will attract it because now you're conscious of that thing you want you see what I'm saying so for example Let's say, for example, um, you know, like you fucking, you know, you wanted a, 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 a car or something or a brand new car or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so what happens is, is that if you actually are trying to get the car and working towards getting that car or, or just even having the thought of really wanting that car, what happens is, is that, again, if you if you keep having that desire, if you keep being, what's going to happen is you're going to start to Think of ways to get the car. You understand? You're yeah, gonna be like, exactly. oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start saying, oh, I could just, you, oh, I'm, I notice I'm, I got a, I got a raise, so I'm gonna start saving more of this money. And oh, guess what? Like, I was at this event, and I, and I was talking to this guy who knows someone who gives cars at cheaper prices. And so what happens is, if you weren't thinking about a car, you probably would have never really. Um, right. notice that guy talking about that car. You see what I'm saying? So the yeah, only yeah, reason you yeah, noticed yeah. it because that's what's already on your mind. So it's not that exactly. it's not that it's like a, you know a fake thing as far as laws of attraction. It's that everything you're trying to attract attracts itself to you once you're conscious about what you actually want. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's all it is, and then, yeah. and then you're going towards it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think people like I, I think people get it misconstrued, but mm. like it, it's kind of like. You're not gonna just pray for it, and then mm. it's just gonna fall in your lap. Right, you know right. I mean? You ha you have to actually stay thinking about it, stay mm. working on it, mm -hmm. stay writing. Stay, right, right, know. right. Because like, no, because I was gonna say this. It's like this. For example, because when we, when we talk about getting girls, right? If you say yeah. to yourself, "Yo, I want to get me like, I want to date like the hottest women out here," right? What's gonna happen is, is that. Because you're thinking that and because you, you actually want that and you have a desire for it, you're going to end up doing things and, uh, you know, making things happen to where you're going to get into those spaces or those situations or you're going to start yep. ending up doing things that's going to take you to the next level. So, for example, a guy may say, y'all want to date the hottest girls, right? So then he's going to be like, okay, 
how do I do that? Like, how do I even get that? Where are the hottest girls? He's going to go out and he's going to approach some girls. He doesn't get, he's going to get rejected. He's going to get shot down. Now, yeah, yeah. right. Uh -huh. So now the guy, the guy who's, if he, now what happens is he has a choice to make. He can either give up and, and start being discouraged and he's going to go down this road and he's never going to get those girls or he's going to say this. He's going to be like, yo, my desire to get women is so heavy. And I noticed when I went out this tonight, I was getting shot down by all these girls. What do I need to do? Maybe I need to learn how to be more attractive or learn how to get girls. So then he'll probably come across a video like mine or anyone teaching game, start watching those. Right. You see what I'm saying? So now he gets better. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is when he goes back out, he sees more girls, he starts talking to them and he starts to attract them because he is starting to learn what he needs to do. And the only reason he learned what he needed to do because he had a desire. And since he had a desire that created the situation where he learned. And now that he learned, he's attracting the women. So that's all mm -hmm. it, it comes from the person. A lot of these motherfuckers yeah. out here online, the reason oh, why yeah. they're not getting it popping is because they are not staying consistent with being that dude. You see what I mean? That's Yo, all it is. Ha have you uh, listened to Steve O's story on, uh, I think it was Joe Rogan's podcast on. Mm. So when he was a kid, mm. he liked uh, Motley Crue, who was a fucking rock band in the 80s. Mm. And his dad. He asked his dad for some tickets. Mm -hmm. And I encourage all you guys listening, you especially, like, look this shit up. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, his dad told him, if you want tickets, or I think he bought him tickets, like, mm -hmm. he bought them uh, in a booth. And he's like, dude, that's not no way to watch Motley Crue. I want front row, t front row seats. Right. So he was like, well, if you want them that bad, then figure out how a way to get them. Mm -hmm. So uh, he, this motherfucker actually... Call, got a phone book and called every hotel and asked for their manager. Mm -hmm. And he, he said he stayed there for like two or three hours just calling. Mm -hmm. And he ended up getting through and he has like pictures of when he was a kid and meeting him and stuff. It, it's, it's oh, a crazy wow, that's story, crazy. But it's basically, you know, if you want it bad enough, you know, you'll get it. Mm -hmm. you know, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Real talk. Real talk. And that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of times dudes ain't getting shit popping, especially in this game, is because. They truthfully, they don't want it bad enough because yeah. it's like it's like for example, I like I tell guys they'll be like, listen, you could join the bad boy membership, right? But then they'll be like, nah, I don't know, it's it's too much money. I don't, you don't want it bad enough, bro. So don't get mad when when shit ain't popping off because you have everything at your disposal, right, to be able to yeah. do the things you want. But as soon as you start, oh, I don't know, that that's that's you're not gonna be able to attract what you're trying to get. And it's, it's really that simple. Like I have this dude uh that Mike called up the other day and I was like, look, this is how you talk to girls in groups. The the the, the next thing he said right after that was, you know, but I don't feel like even doing that. And I'm like, well, if you don't feel like doing it, it's not gonna happen. You see what I mean? Yo, and, and the <laughs> thing is though, is 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 why it's so hard to get through to those guys mm. and you know, as as bad as you know they sound and everything, mm. I, I I truly think that they're a lot. In a sense, like like with you, you know, mm. you you're, you're so, and like with me too, like I, I feel like me and you we're just kind of on the same path, on the same, mm. you know, where we're just not taking shit from no one. We're mm. dedicated, motivated, and but we're on just this side of the fence, and they're just on that side of the mm. fence. You know what I mean? But I think they just have that same mentality, but. It's just it. This one little tweak will get them on this side, you know. But exactly just, right, and, but that, and that's so the thing. <laughs> dedicated to that way of thinking that mm -hmm. it's like, I mean, I understand it because I know the way I think, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure you do. You know how dedicated you are mm -hmm. to the way you think, mm -hmm. and it's like you gotta kind of almost put yourself in their shoes. Like that's how dedicated they are to that belief system. So right. anything contrary to that is like right because because blasphemy, you know what it you know? is. A lot of these dudes out here, the, the, and I was saying this earlier, a lot, and see, and this is how deep it goes. This is why I don't like to, um, like, I understand the ego. And, you know, for those who don't understand, when we talk about ego, ego is your false sense of self. Like, like for example, say being being Mr. Locario is, is my ego, meaning that what that means is oh, I'm this dating coach. I know the game. I teach people. I do YouTube. That's the ego. So what happens is, is that that ego becomes your identity. So now, 
What happens is, right. is, let's say somebody says, oh, Mr. Locario sucks and his game sucks and nobody don't like Mr. Locario because he's corny and blah, blah, blah. So now, yeah, that my, fuck with you, yeah. right, so my ego will, I'll, I'll feel a certain way because of that because I feel like who I am is really Mr. Locario. Who I am right. is is this guy that's on the screen right now. But this is just, this is just what I do. You feel what I'm saying? This is just part mm-hmm. of the ego. So now, what happens is a lot of these guys, like you were saying, the reason why... They, they stick to that line of thinking is because that line of thinking becomes part of their ego. So, for example, if a, a guy who thinks he's an incel, and being an incel is his ego. So now, if I say to him, listen, you know I could, I could teach you some shit and get you fucking uh, a bunch of girls that you would like, a lot of them will fight you on it because being an incel has become their identity. You see what I'm saying? So if, yep. if they aren't an incel, they're like, who the fuck am I? You feel what I'm saying? And so that's why they will stay being incels because being it's the incel, life, right, it's their comfort zone. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's the same, same thing with, with being a MGTOW. Any label, being a MGTOW is your ego. You understand? I had a dude one time do a, a whole video dissing me because I said, you know, I was talking something about MGTOW. He was like, yo, why you got to do it? Like, he was upset because he because what happened was it wasn't about me talking about MGTOW. It's about him thinking I'm talking about him because since he identifies as MGTOW, he's thinking I'm talking about him. You see what I'm saying? And so yeah, yeah. this is why these dudes want to stay in, their, in the bubble because the bubble is their identity. And they feel like if they lose that, they don't know who it is. This, and so this is why when you try to teach them something, they don't want to look at a certain a certain way because they're like I. But if 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 this is true, like for example, if I show you it's not all about looks, money, and status, that's going to make you feel like lost because you've been thinking and believing it's only about looks, money, and status. So when you when you're proven yeah. wrong, you're ju- you're you're. Some people have cognitive dissonance where they're gonna still think is just that or they're going to find ways to make it true because their identity is thinking is looks money and status you see what i'm saying that's yeah, it's, yeah. it's crazy it's fucking crazy it's, it's yeah, like, insane man there, there's a dude i think his name is andrew ryan mm. he's a small dating coach he probably has like a thousand subscribers but mm. he was talking he did this video on like he was walking with his friend on the on the on the beach and he was mm. on the pier and there is these uh two chicks walking toward him and then it was him and his friends and they were kind of just walking opposite, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, he said his friend was like, because he wanted to go holler at him, you know, he wanted to go talk to him. Mm-hmm. He said his friend was like, oh no, they were making fun of us, you know? They were they were laughing at us, you know? They were probably fucking, you know, clowning us. And, mm-hmm. But he said that you know, there was two ways to view that situation, you know? Mm-hmm. You could view it as if, you know, they were clowning you and they are making fun of you or mm-hmm. you could view it as they were fucking feeling you and they wanted to, you to go and talk to them. Exactly. To get your attention, Facts. you know? Right, But right. it's like two sides of the coin that I think have to be there, man. And mm-hmm. I think them being who they are makes you the better man, you know what I mean? Right, and and, and, this, is the, and this is the funny part about all this, this whole situation, about all of this. This is the funny part about everything is that in order for you to be you how you are, they need to be them how they are. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So so yeah. it's almost it's almost trippy because you're like, damn, you're trying to put them on and be like, yo, bruh, this is this. Yeah, no, man. Right, but it's like they have to be that way. You understand? And this is what I'm saying with the whole dynamic. It's like in order for dudes is always talking about they're scared of rejection. You have to have rejection because in, in order for you to experience getting with the girl, you would have to understand rejection. You see what I'm saying? You can't have one without the other. And so that's that's what I, I, I try to explain to these guys out here is that everything you want or everything you want to happen is there. You just have to choose which direction you want to go with it. You see what I'm saying? Like, because, for example, I did this video the other day on my motivation channel where I said most people, they want to be a boss because they think being a boss is sexy and they think being a boss is cool, right? But... And they think that being a boss is more important than being an employee. But what they got to right, understand exactly. is, is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, the boss and the employee are actually two sides of the same coin. Because right. you can't be a boss without employees Yo, helping you. I was just thinking about this. Right. Fucking you see crazy. what I'm saying? You can't be a boss. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is the funny part. 
every boss, uh, and what I said is that a boss's boss is actually an employee, meaning that all of you guys that's watching this 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 video right now, y'all are actually my boss. You understand Yo. what I'm saying? <laughs> like all y'all watching, y'all are my boss. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Because if, if if it wasn't for you guys supporting me, I wouldn't be able to to live what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? So you might be an employee at freaking Target, but you're an employee at Target, but you're my boss. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I might have an employee under me, and I'm their boss. You see what I mean? It goes around in a right. circle. So therefore, no one is more important than the other. We're just all different. This is why I never really say, like I hear a lot of guys, they'll say, oh, you know, men are more or are, are superior than women or women are more superior to men. And I'm like, no, nobody is superior to anybody because we're it's mm -hmm. a balance. You see what I'm saying? That's like saying the head side of the coin is superior to the tail side of the coin. It's not. It's yep. two different sides of the same coin. Still worth 25 cents. Exactly. Right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, that's, yeah, man. so that's what it is. You know what I mean? So it, it's, and, and that's the thing. It's like everyone needs each other. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to understand that it's a, it's a, it's always a balanced relationship because people try to, they, they get into their ego and they think they're better than people. So you, you might have someone online or a celebrity or whoever or somebody rich thinking they're better than someone else or somebody who's poor or at a different level thinking that they're less than somebody else. But what you have to understand is everything is needed and everything is important and everything is balanced. So there's no right. better or worse. It's all just different. You see what I'm saying? And so that's the thing that, and this is why I say when, when I talk about leader, leading women, the only reason you need to lead women is because women are different than us. We're not better than women and women are not better than us. We're just different. And this is why you have to lead them because they, women act different than men generally because they have more feminine energy. Men act right. different than women because we have more masculine energy. You see what I'm saying? And so because we have the difference, that's why you have to go at it a certain way. But see, people get into the ego and they'll say, oh, well, women will say, oh, why do I have to follow you? And you're not better than me. I'm like, no, I'm not better than you. But the reason why I'm telling you to follow me is because I'm in a situation where we're different. So I have a different take on lead. I have a different take on the situation or perspective in life, which allows me to be uh, equipped to lead you. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's all it is. But the ego yeah, yeah. fucks everything up. You feel what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah, I think women are very threatened by that. Right. You know? Right. You see what I'm saying? And, that, yeah. and they're threatened because it's the ego. And that's why all of the right. shit is fucked up now because they've lied to women and said, yo, y'all women, these men out here are oppressing you because they're 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 trying to uh, 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 lead you. And no, lead, leadership mm -hmm. is still service. You understand? Yeah. I'm actually being of service to you by leading you. You see what I'm saying? And 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 by, and a woman being submissive, she's in service to me. So it always goes back and forth. And and this is what people don't understand. And so when people start getting into their ego and start thinking they're better than people, this is what right. makes it happen. And this is also why it's hard for guys to approach girls and get girls because their ego stops them because they're scared of rejection. The only reason you're scared of rejection is because of your ego. Because you think her rejecting you means something. It may you think that it means that you're not good enough. You understand? Right. And it it, well, it don't I mean think, shit. I think a lot of that too is mm -hmm. people's insecurities. Like, like I have a friend. Like, like I'm Mexican. I, I date white chicks. I date a lot right. of white chicks. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, he always made it seem like you know white girls didn't like him because maybe he was you know Mexican or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, dude, like that, that's, that's like your, that's your like mm -hmm. insecurity talking. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, right. I just, I, I see that a lot, you know, mm -hmm. um, I think there's definitely racism out there mm -hmm. and, you know, sexism and all of that. But I think a lot of it nowadays is predicated on people's insecurities, man. I, I think mm -hmm. like, and it, it, it's crazy because it's like making murky, murky waters and mm -hmm. it's convoluting everything and you. Sometimes it's like you can't separate what's really racist and sexist or what's mm. really, you know, not. Right, you know, right. Someone's insecurity. Right, and, and, and again, and it's, it's the story that he's telling himself 
which is why right. he's going to experience that. You see what I'm saying? Is yeah. yo, it, yeah, it, yeah. and this is this is what, what why I say that understanding your value and and, and being confident. You understand? And, and and just understanding that you're valuable. Period. You understand that? Because look, see, I don't, I don't. See, let me let me just get a little bit deeper, real quick, before before I get out of here. But it's like this because people don't. I always talk about confidence. But a lot of people don't understand confidence because notice what I was saying with this whole thing uh, just now. Where I was saying it's always a balance. It's the yin and the yang. It's, yep. the, you know, so basically what you have to understand is, is that because people will say, oh, you know, um, like confidence is bullshit and it doesn't really exist. Or I have people say like, you know, um, uh, like confidence is, 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 is just on the outside. Right. You could say confidence was on the outside and objectively you could be correct because I'll say confidence is on the inside, but guess what? The inside and the outside is basically the balance. It's two sides of the same coin. So you see what I'm saying? So what happens is that when I'm saying that, and the reason why I always talk about confidence being on the inside and you understanding and you feeling that is because since you are the human being, you understand? You're in this body, so you have to be the one to feel it, which is why you'll feel the confidence, which is why you'll, you know, you'll be confident if you yourself feel it, right? But because it's always yin and yang, and because things are two sides of the same coin, because you have hot and cold, left and right, up and down, you know, whatever, right? Since you always have the opposites, what it is is that you as a human being, you're in direct relation to the whole damn universe, so basically, even if you are looking at things outside yourself for confidence, you're still looking at yourself because you are part of the whole fucking thing. So it still goes yeah. back to you. Everything goes back to you. Yeah. That's why I was saying with the other caller, when he was talking about lowering his standards, I said, when you lower your standards, it's not about the girl. It's about you. All that girl is, is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. You see what I'm yeah. saying? The world is yeah, a reflection I- of you. You see what I mean? I'm thinking of it like a fucking antenna. Like, you know what I mean? It's, right. You know, it depends what channel you're on, right? Exactly. And if you have any type of static, not really maybe the antenna, mm-hmm. but might be just the placement. Right. The exactly. Channel you're on, you know what I mean? Exactly. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah. And that's what it is, man. But yo, listen, bro. I appreciate the call, man. I, you know, I love when we, when we can chop it up and get real, real deep on it. You feel what I'm saying? So, so Hell guys yeah, can know what it well, is, man. I think it's important, man. I think people like... You need to make it more. It's not just about women, man. Exactly, that. exactly. Facts. That's what I and that's yeah. what I always try to get do to understand, man. But definitely, I appreciate the call, bro. I'm gonna holler at you, man. Hey, man, Lucario, keep out, man. All, All right. right, be safe. Peace. All right, All right, so people, I got to get the heck out of here. Um, you know, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, make sure you get how to have sex with two women a day ebook, card copy, audio book. Click the link below. Also, make sure you guys get 60-second game. That's the joint right there. You feel what I'm saying? Um, let me shout out all the people in the chat room. Shout out Ellie Empire, Freedom of Speech, Big Stain, Damien, uh, Del- Devil Man, Cry Baby. That's a funny-ass name. Uh, it's Akuma, Nathan Wong, uh, Mahorn83, uh, Brettley Saber. Um, who else is up in here? K Zagan 20, shout out to you. Marty McFly, Junior Abad, uh, Bosley Patterson, Hip Hop Underworld, shout out to you. Love Life, shout out to you. Who else is up in here? Lawyer Creator, Maurice White, Chizzy City. Man, okay, we had a bunch of people in here. Big Chungus, I'm seeing some new folks up in here. Cool J, Billy G. Who else? Um, Resilient SD, Junior Abad, Indigo TV. Man, we had a lot of people up in here, man. But listen, um, I'm going to be back maybe Wednesday, but definitely Friday. You feel what I'm saying? So I will holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.